Hey everybody, welcome to GGS Railways. My name is Greg, this is my YouTube channel. All right, you're not dreaming it. <laughs> There's a very large right on Thomas on, in this box on my table. And um, obviously, uh, I'm too big <laughs> to write on this. I think the weight limit is about 20 pounds. But let's get it out of the box. Let's see what it looks like and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, kind of on a Thomas kick if you haven't noticed. All right, well, we made uh, short work of getting it out of the box here. Um, get some of this packing and stuff off and let's see what we actually have here. So, so I do actually have a plan for this. And uh, <laughs> uh, I probably can't release this unboxing video until you see the video, so I can just tell you what it is. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have a bunch of different size Thomases uh, in our video and we're gonna try to make that fun and humorous and uh, I bet we succeed. <laughs> All right, anyway, obviously we hadn't shot the video yet. So let's get this uh, guy undone here. I'm not sure exactly what the uh, steps are here. You know, we could always read the instructions, but you know, what fun would that be? So let's see, it's like this just, oh, that's just sliding off of there, okay. Well, you know, we may we may be able to, have to read the instructions on this guy. I'm not sure. So, all right. So, I believe this is uh, and, and you're gonna laugh. This is pieces of track. Uh, this Thomas does have a track. See, they're increasingly become a method to my madness. <laughs> so, all right. So I got that portion of track out. I assume that there's a more somewhere. So uh, this apparently is the handle with a. Uh, a wire and a switch. Um, we will probably wind up modifying the switch. Uh, <laughs> uh, shenanigans galore. So all right, let's get this cardboard over here in this box. So all right. So I'm uh, not sure that Thomas' smokestack is supposed to be bent just like that, but perhaps it is. Um, let's look at the uh, look at the picture and we'll see. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, we're good. <laughs> all right, so let's see. This is more track pieces. So, all right, so here we have the basic Thomas. And uh, get him together as best as I can. So, let's see. Uh, should we read the instructions or should we just do this? What do you think? <laughs> you know, I'm a guy and I'm just inclined to just do it. So, let's see. Um... I see that this has got a threaded rod and it looks like a wire and uh, as best as I can determine this is going to go down in here um, well, we might wind up reading the instructions yet oh no nope we're good we're good so all right so there we go with that and then I assume that we will probably turn him over and uh, I bet you it becomes self self-evident here how this goes um so yes appears that this guy goes in there like so and there's probably a nut or something here uh, we may actually yes have to read the instructions i mean gosh wouldn't that be something oh wait so uh, i had it wrong <laughs> hmm. all right so yes uh this bar goes like so man did you hear the click <laughs> All right, so I assume there's still a nut for here, but we'll check that out here in a minute. So this is where I believe the battery plugs in and uh, all the problems I read about online that it has this happens here, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll check that out and talk about that in a minute. But uh, I'm just gonna leave that unplugged for now because I think we have to charge the battery before we can actually do anything with it anyway. So, all right, let's get the rest of this stuff out and I'm just gonna set Thomas 
uh, kind of kind of sort of a sight. He's pretty big. And uh, so anyway, let's uh, see what else we got here. So this is more of the uh, track. These are the uh, ties, the track ties. Now, Thomas comes with <clears throat> a round of track. And I'm going to, for my video purposes, want to make him go s straight for some portion of that video. So uh, I suspect we will be manufacturing, rigging, shenaniganing up <laughs> something. So, all right, let's see what's in this other box. Because I assume that was the track. And it, I guess it probably could still be because uh, obviously that's not much in the way of track. And you know, I don't know, maybe that's not track. No, that's track. <laughs> and uh, in this box, I'll just show you is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more track. Or a lot more sections, there you go. So, all right, I'm going to uh, see what this is, because I think this is what we need to uh, assembly, to finish assembling Thomas. So, all right, so he's got a USB charger, a cable. So, all right, this, uh, this could very well be good. Hmm. So, all right. So the main complaint I read online about these was that they came with bad batteries. And I hope that this one won't be of that variety. But I did buy this open box. I didn't pay full price for it. Uh, imagine that. <laughs> I mean, we don't have children. We don't, you know, we have dogs. So anyway. <laughs> I'm going to put all these track pieces over here. Kind of get them out of our way for the moment. And then we're going to turn Thomas back over here. You like my total disregard for any kind of instructions or anything. Now, what they were saying online, or what folks were saying online, was that the battery had to be charged in a way that was very inconvenient. And I don't see exactly what they were talking about. We will probably have to pull out the instructions you know, at some point, regardless of uh, our uh, <laughs> gender or not. <laughs> So, all right, let's see. I had this in here just a minute ago. I know I did. You all saw that I did. And somehow we have uh, come into a problem here all of a sudden. Where the Thomas, Thomas's front trucks here have kind of taken on a life of their own. I think I see. Man, this is like a chew, bu chew bubble gum and walk at the same time times 10. So, all right, let's see. So, once again, we may sprout a brain <laughs> at any moment. So, all right, there's no washer. So I'm just assuming this guy goes on here. Once again, no regard for reading the instructions whatsoever. Uh, now, I mean, if you have a child that you're going to do this for, obviously, you would want to uh, read the instructions and make sure you did it really, really right because uh, that would be the responsible thing to do. Because we don't have children, and uh, <laughs> likely a child will never write on it, we're gonna do it the way that I think it ought to be done. And of course, we you know, we'll check and make sure we're right. But I think that's probably about it. All right. I kinda like that. Does it steer good? Seems like it steers pretty good. Seems like that might be a little looser maybe all right yes I like that quite a bit so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this wire in. I said I wasn't gonna plug in because I don't think it works the way that I assumed it did I mean big surprise there right so I know I'm in the way solidly I'm in the way but I'm gonna try to get this little plug plugged in I think I got it so okay cool deal all right, uh, and then we got this little blue guy here. And he seems like he's uh, pretty self-explanatory and he just kind of snaps on here to cover up that nut. You know, if you had a small child, that once again would probably be important. All right, got him. So, all right, let's see. Turn this guy over. All right, let's, let's show you the, the front of Thomas. <laughs> 
That's pretty cool. Now his eyes clearly aren't going to move like uh, some of the locomotives we just got. So uh, let's let's see. Does he have any juice? No, he has no juice at the moment. All right. Well, you know, not sure why I would expect that. All right. So let me find the instructions for how we're going to charge this. And uh, unless, of course, you know, I, I see it in the meantime, <laughs> and I don't. So let me look, and I'll get right back to you all right so i actually read the instructions <laughs> and i have found that the uh, battery is underneath the seat here so uh, anyway what you do is you take out these two back screws right here on the back of old thomas and uh, you lift this guy up slides out of the way and then the battery you have to remove a, a hold in strap a little screw here strap just removes and then the battery which I went ahead and connected uh, the charger apparently goes right here and uh, supposedly you're supposed to charge it for six hours before you use it um, will we do that <laughs> well you know <laughs> I don't know anyway uh, <laughs> so all right I'm gonna put this in a way that I think we can most easily get to that in the future. But uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna put this back in because the only reason that we had to take this out was to plug, plug the battery in and figure out where the charger port was. Uh, possibly you could have done it without doing this, but uh, I couldn't do it without doing this. How about that? So I right, just put the screw back in. And then uh, it's just a, <clears throat> A phone type charger with a USB cord and uh, once I get this unwrapped now I bought this as open box but so far I'm not sure what made it open box but anyway uh, this uh, cord will just simply come undone and it just plugs in here so it looks like it goes in this way Yay. So, all right, anyway, you know how a phone charger works. But just in case, <laughs> this goes in here, and then we'll plug it into the wall. Now, I think that this has enough juice <laughs> to, uh, yes, do that. So, all right, let me get it charged, and we'll come back and see what we see later. Uh, I think it says it needs to charge for, I don't know, I think I read six hours. Does that sound right? It really doesn't really sound right, does it? All right. Well, anyway, whatever it is, we're going to do that. And then we will get back to uh, showing you guys. All right, everybody. So we have Thomas here on the truck, and he looks pretty doggone cute. Um, figured out the uh, charging situation, and uh, yeah, we got that all set up. Um, if you happen to buy one of these, this is the uh, Fisher Price variety uh, Power Wheels. And uh, if you take the battery out and get your connections all on there including the white cord I have here that runs to your little uh, charger uh, what I what I would recommend is just leave the white cord connected to the battery and just coil it up underneath that seat it won't hurt anything there's no no gears or anything for it to get hung up in there and that way you don't have to fish around and try to get that little bit of connector in there every time so anyway so we got to wait six hours for Thomas to charge here uh, that's seems a little <laughs> unbelievable but you know we're gonna follow the instructions uh, clearly there's nobody in my household other than maybe Abby that's uh, light enough to ride on this but uh, I still think he's pretty cool I think I'm going to uh, modify his switch to where it, <laughs> where it's you know where it can just stay on that way uh, yeah it look pretty cool rolling around the track so all right well guys this is all I can do of this tonight because well you know I gotta wait six hours so anyway I will catch you guys next time GGS Rowies out <laughs>